All right, this is a rather windy Mark Reviews Places from where the Jordan River Parkway intersects the uh, Pioneer Crossing, what's practically a freeway, right? So it goes underneath right here, and there's Pioneer Crossing. You can hear the large truck going over. And uh, if, your, if your backyard doesn't have those kind of mud dauber birds that build their muddy nests and poop everywhere, you can thank this underpass as the reason, because they have all set up camp here, and there are thousands of them. You can see them whizzing back and forth. We're right here. The Jordan River Parkway is a, a trail that I have not done a review on yet, but I love this trail. Probably a, a close second to the Murdoch Canal Trail, and it would maybe be my first if it weren't for a lot of these seams. You can kind of see them in the distance over there. The seams in the, in the pavement where they've just kind of put tar over the crack there. So as you're riding along, you go, dum 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 right? So it's, it's not a smooth ride like the Murdoch Canal Trail is. I don't know the reason for that, um, if they just didn't want there to be frost heaving and stuff in the, in the winter, but Murdoch Canal the Trail doesn't have that, and they don't have the same problem. So this is it. We are, we are on kind of the edge of what is most of the development in Utah County. So along this side, right along Pioneer Crossing, is starting to get filled in nicely. There's still a lot of empty space this way as you go out toward Eagle Mountain. Um, Jordan River is at almost the highest I've ever seen it. It actually flows south to north from Utah Lake down in the south to uh, Salt Lake in the north. But you can barely perceive that it's flowing at all. And in fact, on a windy day like today, it looks like it's going north to south, and it's going that way. Um, you know, come check it out if you haven't. Jordan River Parkway is not as well-traveled as the Murdoch Canal Trail, so it's a little more um, peaceful, if you will, except for where it goes under Pioneer Crossing and you have all these birds. Um, there aren't as many people out here. It follows pretty well the Jordan River all the way from really kind of Bluffdale uh, behind Thanksgiving Point all the way down to almost Utah Lake. Eventually it's going to connect into uh, Utah Lake Trail that's designed eventually to go all the way around Utah Lake. So Utah County continues to impress with their trail developments. Um, no real support stations along this trail other than some of the parks that it inter intersects. So in Lehigh this will go through uh, Willow Park and there's some porta potties in there, some camping spots and stuff, but nothing like the Jordan River Parkway, I mean, excuse me, nothing like the Murdoch Canal Trail, where you have all the trailheads, flush toilets, drinking fountains, parking lots, etc., uh, which may be the reason that the Jordan River Parkway Trail is not as well traveled or utilized. Um, I've seen pelicans half a dozen times in my life and five of those times have been in the Jordan River or along here. Um, so lots of wildlife along this trail. It gets a little ways away from some of the houses and things. You ride through some farmer's fields. Unfortunately, there isn't a great way to connect from this trail back over to Murdoch Canal Trail uh, without taking some city streets. So if you're averse to that, maybe park a, a car at one end and uh, start at the other and ride back down to your car, but I love this Jordan River Parkway. In fact, I'm gonna get going again. So subscribe to this channel if you haven't, and check out these other videos that I have on here. Leave me some comments in the section below. What's your favorite trail in Utah County? If I haven't tried it, I will. Thanks.